Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Bibi and we are back with our Sims 2 Let's Play series. We are jumping straight into it. We are right here with the Caliente sisters and uh, this is what's going on early on in this house. We are here with the very mature Dina Caliente who is uh, playing in a bathtub in her heels. I mean, let's go girl. I wouldn't be able to stand up like this. And her sister Nina is of course working out because she is a sporty girly. She is out there working on her fitness early on in the day, looking good. She's gaining body skills. That's incredible. Hopefully she's not going to be like Dawn, gaining culinary skills out of nothing. Uh, she's at least working for it. Let's see. Oh my god, she is not in a good mood. All right, but yes, uh, let's pause for a second. And this is it. This is a Caliente house. They actually have a guest upstairs. We'll look at that in a minute. But this is the house that I built for the Caliente sisters. I mean, I didn't build it. This is their condo, which I renovated. You can watch the video if you want to. It's already up on my channel. It's one of the first videos I've ever made. I did change a couple of minor things about the interior and the exterior of this house. Like, for example, these two windows here in the middle of the front section. Those are different because in between episodes, in between the renovation and the Let's Play series, I got a new PC and everything got transferred and some files just didn't make it. For some reason, some files just didn't want to get ported into the new computer. So we have a few changes. I also gave Dina, this is Dina's room, I gave her a door to this little balcony. There's still nothing on this balcony, but I thought like, it's just empty space. Let's just put a door so we can use it. And that's basically it. This is their house. As I said, you can watch the renovation if you haven't. It's one of the houses that I really, really like. It's just modern cute it's two girlies it's so pretty their rooms are so cute i love dina's room for instance like it's just so feminine it's so pretty it's so blue she's got all these little beautiful girly things on her desk she's got oh can she even walk through these hmm, we'll see we'll see in a minute and then we have nina's room here with the leopard print and the purple and everything and downstairs their living room is, you know, it's it's nothing fancy, but I did add this. This is a makeover station because Dina, as I loaded into the house, she wants to learn the cosmetology skill. She wants a cosmetology talent badge. She's going to need a job, right? But she's not going to get a traditional job. Come on. It's Dina Caliente. Do you think she's going to be in the slacker career going on doing basic things like other basic sims? No, she wants to marry rich and this is more of her valley. She's into fashion. She's into beauty. So I thought like, like maybe we're gonna do this for her. She's probably gonna suck though. She's probably gonna suck because she doesn't really have any skills in that and she doesn't have like creativity or anything that's gonna help her with this, but she has tons of charisma. So that's going on for her. But yeah, this is their living space. It's pretty empty. It's gonna be their living space slash uh, Dina salon for the time being until she can start her own business in an owned lot and have a salon, which, you know, if meanwhile she gets a rich daddy to help her with that goal, that's definitely gonna be in her favor. They have this bathroom, which is completely empty because they didn't have money at the end of our renovation to finish it and speaking of money look at this look at this they have 78 simoleons this is tragic they have no money two girls zero bucks like what is going on they have no money you look too happy for someone who doesn't have money dina i mean it kind of makes sense because she is basically an aspiration failure and if you've seen some of my other videos she's basically always on the street begging like please give me simoleons so yeah they definitely are in desperate need of money now nina over here she wants to move out out. And I've locked that in for her, but we won't be moving her out for now. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. For the time being, she's definitely going to get a job. She wants to get a job in a slacker career, which, you know, we might do that for her. Slacker career or something else. They just need some money from somewhere. So I'm going to need y'all. First of all, Nina, you need to go to the toilet. And Dina, you need to get out of the bathtub. Come on, get out of there. It's kind of weird how this is a shared space, but it works. I guess it works. Can you walk by? Oh, she's walking past the boots. That's fine. I was worried about that. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen the last episode, that's a little bit awkward. Um, Dina had a little hookup with her neighbor, Don Lothario. And uh, it was a risky woohoo, which immediately ended up in a surprise pregnancy. So, um, spoiler alert, we're going to be having a baby later on. But look who's here. Look who they have as a guest. Cassandra Goth. And they're getting along. I mean, they don't really know each other too well, but ugh, this is awkward. Dina is now pregnant from Cassandra's fiancé. And Cassandra was here hanging out at our hot tub for no reason. What are you doing on your sister's computer? Playing The Sims 3. Don't break the fourth wall like this. 
Nina is relaxing in the bathtub. Ew, what did you do? Oh my god, that's so filthy. This house has not been played at all. Like, when did you manage to do that? That's nasty. Okay, who has cooking skills? Nobody. Listen, get down here. Ask for free makeover, offer free makeover. Okay, I think in order to make money from a makeover business, we need to actually start a home business. So let's go on the phone. Business, start home business. I don't think we can even afford the little sign, open and close sign. <laughs> but let's do that for Dina. Yes, we want to start a... Oh. Real estate, we cannot afford that. Congratulations, you can start selling. Oh, oh, oh. Oh God, okay, here we go. Business lady Dina Caliente is, uh, oof, she's having a bad time and she's really uncomfortable. She needs to take a nap right now, immediately. Ooh, we already actually have some food. Okay, that's good. Nina's gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna make her look for a job on the computer and see if we can find something in slacker career or something else. Really, I am willing to settle for just anything because they do need a job. Like, look at her. She is so pretty. She is my favorite. Listen. Oh God, look, <laughs> what? Y'all, I'm sorry, but you two look like twins. <laughs> <laughs> Laszlo Curious just made it into the house. I guess it's because it's a business lot, but we're not open, Laszlo. What do you want? Offer makeover. Be stylist. Ooh, I guess you have to like stand there and be a stylist for this to actually work. Wait, can we afford the sign? The open and close sign? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, we can afford this, thankfully. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put this right here. I hope it's not gonna block the front door or something. Just right there. Cool. Cool beans. We're gonna close though. Okay, pick up the can, clean that up, come on. Mortimer, no. No, I see you. Mm. We're closing the business because Dina is currently not... She's currently not in a state where she can actually do makeovers or anything. Ooh, ooh smells good, right? Put that away, because we will need some food later on. Put that away as well. And finish eating. Let's close that for a second. So what's in the work for the sisters? Well, Nina is going to look for a job and hopefully find one. Otherwise, they will have to starve and we don't want that. And Dina is going to have to get her mood in check. Oh, <laughs> she's clipping. Yeah, these decorative pillows. They look spectacular, but when you put a sim in there, mm -mm, not looking cute. Uh, Dina is going to get some rest because she her needs are going to be falling off real quick because she's pregnant. And hopefully she'll start working on her cosmetology talent badge. Ooh, who is she? Ooh, yeah, look at that. She's furious at Jennifer Burb. Now, Nina and Jennifer, they recently met and they are not getting along. Okay, they were fighting. I think they're enemies. I think they're actually enemies. Like these two, mm, they had such a bad time. She's going to sleep. It's midday, girl. What are you doing? Both of them are so tired. For what reason? Okay, okay, I'll let you have some sleep. Dina is waking up, thankfully. She's not gonna clean this, like, it, this is not her, her thing. I actually gave her two wand locks because who's gonna stop me? I want her to have two wand locks, but I haven't given her or Nina any, any university degrees. I don't think they've been to university. I don't know if they've had the money growing up for that. In my head headcanon, oh, look at this guy. I know what you're up to. Stop. Stop. You, ooh, you nasty old man. He's furious at Dina. They still have a bad relationship. Dina hasn't been able to fix things with Mortimer. If you don't know what happened, during my lot renovation, I was, of course, playtesting things. Oh, look who's, look who's walking by. Nina would be thrilled. Anyways, during my lot renovation, I was playtesting things and Mortimer showed up. And I do have a mod that allows Sims to autonomously... Uh, break up, get engaged, whatever, so that they have like, just more control over what they want to do with their lives. And Dina decided to propose to Mortimer. He was not into it. Oh, look what happened. This fridge. 
This fridge is not compatible with open for business, so now I don't have any leftovers. Hmm, I have to change the fridge. Okay, but yeah, uh, Mortimer came around, she proposed to him autonomously, he rejected her, that ruined their relationship, they got in a fight, and now they're enemies, like they're in a really bad mood towards each other. Stop. Look, oh, what an awkward encounter. I'm gonna lock my bin if Mortimer keeps walking by trying to destroy it. Eating for two, come on, Dina. I don't think she's ready to be a mom, but it's not a matter of being ready. She is going to be. The bad thing is she even rolled a want. Like last time she rolled a want to marry or more like get engaged to Don Lothario, which is just... Oh, look at Mortimer! Are you serious, bro? This is gonna keep happening. We'll need to call Mortimer, although he's not gonna want to come over. We're gonna need to stop Mortimer as he's walking by to greet him and hopefully fix the relationship because this is going to be a mess. Okay, open for business and be a stylist. And let's see... Oh, come on. Open. Now, be a stylist and let's see if someone is going to come around to get a makeover from Dina. Nina is immediately awake and working out again. This girl has no limits. Okay, sit down and find a job. Let's see if we have an opening in the slacker career. Someone is walking in. Oh, look who is walking in. <laughs> Jennifer Burb, no. Athletic career. Oh, this would be good. Okay, let's look for jobs. And if we don't have an opening in the slacker career, we're gonna get an opening, uh, we're gonna get a job in the athletic career for Nina, because I think that's gonna be good for her, and it's gonna be a temporary solution until she <gasps> hired Donna's employee. <laughs> no, I don't think he's gonna be worded much. And what are you gonna pay him with? Although they do have some money now. Slacker! Yay! Okay, she did it. Is she at work today? No, she's not. She is at work tomorrow, and she doesn't need any special skills or anything. Ooh, look. Can you influence Sims to sit down? Sales, basic sell. Let's try this out. Oh, this didn't work. They hate each other, though. That's why. Let's try this on Johnny Smith. Oh, he, he is not into it. Okay, Nina, perhaps you shouldn't do that. Sit down and chat with Herboldi. Herboldi, he really, ooh. He actually really likes Nina. She keeps walking around and he's whistling and hollering every time. Is anyone actually going to sit down and get a makeover? Oh, this worked on him. Oh, they're, they're fighting. They're immediately fighting. You two. And look at that. We're gonna get cockroaches soon. <gasps> look! Herb is sitting down! Finally, we have our first customer! She's so happy about this. Come on. Let's go. Is he gonna look like a clown? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, well... Mm. I'm sorry, Herb. I'm sorry about that. She did earn some money, though. Ugh. This is the first simoleon earned by Dina. Congrats. Congratulations, Dina. You did a spectacular job. Let's look at Herb's beautiful new face. Uh, well, he's gonna be walking around looking like this for a while. I mean, the red definitely makes his green eye stand out. That's something. That didn't help us with our business potential, though. Can we try influencing Jennifer Burb again? They still hate each other, but we could try. Uh-oh, she didn't like that. Okay. <gasps> Look who's here! The legend! Piggy! Pick up the trash can. <gasps> Word around the streets is that you're not too great in the community. There have been some unpleasant rumors spreading around you. You should keep a lookout for yourself. Okay. Ooh, ooh, Nina has a bad reputation. Lousy loser. I have a mod that allows Sims to gain or lose reputation on residential lots as well, which I think makes sense. Piggy, can you shut up? Oh, Johnny Smith is playing with Piggy.
Okay, we'll have to shut down soon. Let's see if Ricky Cormier is going to sit down to get a makeover. Because if he doesn't anytime soon, Dina is going to die. Oh, there he is. He's going in. Please don't ruin his face, Dina. Come on. He's a townie. If we're successful, we can make our townies look decent. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we get a successful makeover. Hmm, let's see. What can we do with Ricky? Okay, I'll be here for a second, guys. Give me a moment while I pick something for his appearance. All right, this is going to be Ricky's new look. I just gave him these twists. I changed the eyebrows. He has really arched eyebrows, so it was very strange. <laughs> but I gave him these more bushier eyebrows. Uh, and I gave him some skin details to make him look a little bit more three-dimensional and less flat. So this is going to be his thing. Let's see how he looks in game. Is he into it? He loves it! Yes! Great. Great job. We didn't earn a lot of money from that, but it is helping and she is gaining skills. So we'll stop that right now, close the business, and she needs to eat immediately and go to the toilet too. Now these people are making it in as guests to sit down and eat my food. Thank you so much. As if I can afford food, guys. He's so cute. He is so cute. Dina, blocking my view. Come on, girl. I think it's going to help them to have a good relationship with people who can be their potential customers. So how much money did we make? We made 396 simoleons. That's nice. We made this much money in the first day of work. So good job. Good job. They have 400 simoleons, which is not much, but it's definitely better than what they initially had. And with Nina's new job, which is not well paid, Ooh, what? She hates him. <laughs> Nina's new job is not very well paid, but she's going to be earning some money for the family soon. Let's put away the food that nobody is going to eat and take care of their needs. Come and watch some TV, I guess. And Dina, she's in a really bad mood, but it's that baby. It's that baby that's making it very difficult for her. Okay, you need to get to the toilet right now. Ugh, this disgusting toilet. Is it even... Oh, oh god, it's so dirty. Oh, she's running. Good for her. She was really, really close to bladder failure. She has a fear of becoming a witch. I think it's because she recently visited Olive Spectre. If you just saw... That's that's the last video I made. If you just saw the last video, it was a Spectre house makeover. And Olive is actually an evil witch. So I guess Dina saw that and she's like, Oh, I don't want that to be me. Please clean this up. It's seriously so bad. Take a shower again. You're gonna make everything so dirty and disgusting once more. And go to sleep. Look at her hunger. It's plummeting so fast. Pregnant sims are so difficult to take care of. How's Nina feeling? What is she watching? The music channel. So fun. Their living space is kind of cute. With most of these lot renovations, I was like, we're just gonna allow the sims to earn some money and we'll keep building the houses. Like, these houses are gonna change. They're not gonna stay like this forever. But I love their house because it's just so colorful. I love a colorful house. <gasps> no! Wait! We have a burglar! Emergency? Stop freaking out! Oh no. Oh god. I forgot that this is part of the scripted events. No! I was just so happy that she was doing well unlike her sister, but now she's freaking out as well. Oh no, Nina. Let's get you up. Hmm. Come on, Nina, get the rage out. Feeling better? Yes, good for you, sis. Farewell, dude. Oh, yeah, now you're going to call the police? No, thank you. What did the burglar even steal? I don't even know. What is... She's probably gonna think about the object. Oh, she doesn't have a memory? Stop crying. What did he steal? There must be something missing. I'm just not noticing it. He probably stole a lamp or something. <laughs> okay, now that you're here and you're not feeling too, too bad. I mean, psychologically, you're not feeling great. But at least your mood is not awful. Please clean up. Your sister has made a mess. She wants to get a burglar alarm. Okay, I'll do that for you because you do have the money to afford it, actually. I know you're hungry. You're gonna eat in a minute. Come on, go downstairs. Why are you acting like you're pregnant too? Like you're just as hungry as Dina. And she's about to pop a baby soon. The 
carpool for Nina. How? Oh, she's oh she's at work at like 5 a.m. Okay, please clean up because your sister is never going to do it. Someone in my lot renovation video commented, did you forget to place a sink or was that a choice? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to place a sink. We do have a sink now. Oh, look at her. Ah, She gets the sparkly bubbles because she's a neat sim while she's cleaning. I really like her. I wonder what she'll do with her life. Dina has great plans, okay? She has big plans for herself. But Nina, she's kind of just, you know, she's coasting, so to speak. I like this outfit on her as well. It's custom content, but it also kind of looks like her original outfit. First day at the job. Hopefully she'll do well. See ya. This hood deco is sticking out. It's fine. It's all fine. Let's see. Oh. First baby bump for Dina. There she goes. Okay. I wonder if her baby will be... You know, if it will carry her genes, let's put it that way, because um, she does have an alien grandfather, so we could have a green-skinned baby. She's still playing The Sims 3. Like, girl, is this your priority? Look at your fun. You're not feeling too good. It's time to eat. Come on, come downstairs, eat something. I have to check her everyday outfit as well, because I'm pretty sure that, that doesn't have a pregnancy morph. We'll need to change her outfit. Oh, she's so sad. What are you sad about? Oh, she's sad about the burglary. Don't worry. You now have an alarm. It's not going to happen again. Next time it happens... Oh, who who is snickering outside? You! Jennifer! Don't be such a menace. You just moved into the neighborhood. You can't be like this. You're going to have a bad name, Jennifer, in the neighborhood if you keep fighting with Sims. Dina, please, please feed yourself. She's so hungry. And she's tired as well. She can't work. She can't work. She's way too tired. She needs a rich Sim to come and save her. What does she want? She wants to show item to customer. Customer gains a star. That's great and all, but I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know how that's going to happen when she's constantly tired. Yeah, he, yeah, you're tired. Please clean up. We don't want to live in filth. Do we have a sim blender on the lot? I think I put one so <gasps> No, this is what the burglar stole! Our hot tub! No! That was such an expensive object! Oh, gosh! Mm, I'm so upset now. Okay, wait. Let's get a sim blender because I want to change her lifetime aspiration goal. I don't want her to aspire for... What, what was that? She's aspiring to become a dread pirate? That makes no sense. She needs to aspire to marry a rich sim or like make a ton of money or something. Nina's back. Hey there. A hundred simoleons? Not much, but it's something. What? I know, I know you're so tired. And here's the mailman. Here he is, bringing you bills. Two hundred simoleons. Can we afford that? <sighs> okay, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> She's like, ew, he's so ugly. Don't be like this, Nina. You don't need to check out every single man in existence. Lagabu, I know you're sleepy. You're gonna go to sleep, don't worry. Just pay the bills. Come on. There we go, 200 simoleons. <laughs> More than your salary. Go to bed. I get it. You went to work at like 4 a.m. Okay, she's going to bed. Both of them are asleep. What an exciting household, really. Stop. Jennifer. I swear. Stop! Stop! I wish we had a backyard. I'm really just gonna build a little fence and lock the trash can in there so y'all can stop kicking it. And Nina, she can get up. Come on. You can't sleep all day. Get up. Go and clean the bathroom after your sister, who's always making a mess. She wants to hire Don. No, you're not hiring Don. She wants to go on a date, though. We can go on a date. Oh, she's stinky. She hates it. Dina, get out of the bathroom. I need to shower. Please. I stink. My stubble. Oh, look at her outfit. Come on, okay. Use that. 
take a shower, clean up, mop up. <laughs> She's basically a maid. And Dina, in her purple baby mama outfit, is going to come here and watch some TV. And then we'll check if we have another outfit that is pregnancy compatible for her. Because I just, you know, I'm just bored of the default pregnancy clothes. Maternity clothes, what am I saying? <laughs> See, are you happy now? You gained a cleaning skill, of course you did. There's always something cl to clean in this house. I think she's also- yeah, she's having fun while cleaning because she's a neat sim and enjoys that. She wants to go on a date. Let's do that for her. Why don't you come here and call a sim? I guess Dawn. I mean, she's not really seeing anyone else. <gasps> what? She's furious at her sister. What happened? Why are you furious at your sister? <laughs> she's done nothing. I don't know what happened for them to ruin their relationship. They're not getting along. They're not interacting too much either, though. Okay, let's call Don. Oh no, he's at work. Oh, come on. Okay, how about... Walk to lot, community lot, go alone. Let's go... Oh god, these empty lots again. I'm freaking out. Fashion conscious sim. Playground, you're not going to a playground. H&M Pleasant View. Swift and Trift Mini Mart. Let's go to the park. It's a little bit late, but let's go to the park. Maybe we'll meet someone there. Oh, she's so upset. What is it? Let's go for a little walk. Come on, Nina. Get out in nature. Meet a sim. Hang out. Ooh, what is happening here? Okay, one of my mods... <laughs> one of my mods has not transferred successfully. Because the water is black. We can ignore that for a hot minute. Who is this? Hello. It's Goopy. It's Mr. Goopy. Come on, Goopy. I know you're a romance sim too. Hi. How's it going? So nice to meet you. Ooh, not casual. Come on, let's have a little chat with Goopy. Let's see if you can get along. Ooh, she doesn't like him though. She dislikes him. Hmm. She does want to slow dance and yes, she wants to go on a date. I'd love that for her, but Don was not available tonight. And here's Brandy! Brandy is a close friend. I mean, they're not friends friends, but they are getting along. Let's greet her. Oh, she was bored of that conversation to begin with. Let's spread some gossip, let's have a little chat. What is she gonna talk about? Herb Oldie? No, this is Michael Bachelor. What are you talking about? Don't talk ill of the dead. Nina, that's so wrong. Well, this is not a fun conversation. Okay, let's try something else. Give her an admire, joke with her. Oh, she didn't- what? She didn't like that. Brandy, why are you so hostile today? She's at least enjoying the joke. Of course, there's no one hanging out in these lots. Ooh, Ophelia, you've made it far, coming all the way to Pleasant View. She's willing to do everything to stay away from her aunt. Look at these two. You could play together interact. No, they chose to sit side by side, playing by themselves. Nina, come and sit together. Don't be a weirdo. Let's socialize a little bit. I thought, yeah, she is a shy sim though. Maybe that's it. Maybe she just prefers doing things alone, which is fine. Same, I can relate. Immediately, Brandy is like, so woohoo. When was the last time you woohooed? I haven't woohooed in a while because my husband is dead. That's such a weird conversation to have, Brandy. Please stop. Yeah, what are you thinking about? Think about something more logical. Mm. Nina just gained a logic skill, which is lovely for her. I don't know if she'll need that in her job, but she has quite a lot of body skills now, a logic skill, a couple of cleaning skills. Good for her. She's studying hard. I think Nina is actually, like, she would do well with a secondary knowledge. But there's nothing going on here. We didn't meet a dude. We only met Goopy, who Nina doesn't like. Dawn wasn't available tonight, so let's just go home. Let's go home. Come on, Nina. Okay, while we're waiting for Nina to come back home, let's check on her sister, who is starving again. Let's first of all change into every day. And see if we can plan an outfit that has a pregnancy morph. Let's see if we have something like that. Okay, we don't really have anything. Change into maternity. We don't really have anything that has a pregnancy morph for her. So if she wants to wear something different, she'll have to go and buy some clothes. 
which we cannot afford. And her sister is not here and there's no food, so she'll have to learn how to cook. Snack baguette. Please don't set anything on fire. She's so hungry. She's like, please, please, I'm starving. It's ready. She didn't burn the house down. I'm so proud of her, but the phone is ringing and we'll have to check that out before she can eat. Well, this really didn't get her hunger up too well. What is with pregnant Sims? All they do is barely survive. <laughs> and how can we afford a baby? We can't afford a baby. We can't even afford a crib. Put the leftovers away. She's eating a second plate. Oh, hi. You made it back. Immediately taken out the trash. What a good girl. Okay, grab a plate. Sit down to eat. Let's spend some time together. You need you need to get along better. Oh, Dina doesn't think so. She's immediately talking about woohoo. She's like, look, sis, this is what happens when you have irresponsible woohoo with strangers. Who's the daddy? Who is the father of your new baby? Dina doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, you're so tired, I know. Meanwhile, Nina is in a really good mood. She doesn't need any skills. They have one friend, and that one friend is this guy. <laughs> I'm actually going to give her a secondary aspiration because she's such a knowledge secondary in my head. So let's give her that. Also, let's give her her perks related to romance. We could do that for Dina as well. Give her those and maybe give her this and it's gonna make it a little bit easier to keep her mood from plummeting so quickly. Look at this intellectual girl. She needs to find someone to go on a date with. Why does she know two burglars and she hates them both? <laughs> okay. The dating pool in Pleasant View is just so dry. This is tragic. Bye bye. Make some money. Get promoted. Her performance is really good. Oh, oh, let me guess. Let me guess. Oh, there we go. Baby month number two. Well, how are you feeling? Terrible as always. Immediately going to the computer. You need to take a shower. Or actually take a bubble bath. Let's relax a little bit. This is probably going to feel good for you. And she needs some social and some fun. So I'll make her chat. Joe Mortimer. Oh, look who's online. <gasps> oh, Tina, come on. We cannot afford this. Should we risk it? Should she try to repair it? This is her sister's computer, by the way. Okay, let's try to repair that. Please. Please. Fix it. That's exactly how you fix a laptop. Screwdriver to the screen. Come on. You can do it. Just a little bit more. I think she fixed it. Phew. Phew, right? And now Mortimer is not online. The universe basically told her, don't chat with that man. <laughs> Everything is trying to stop Dina from getting Mortimer. She's just not going to be successful, I don't think. So who else does she know? She knows Dawn. She's obsessed with Dawn. She's, of course, expecting a baby with Dawn. She knows Daniel, but she's not really into him, even though he is rich. And everyone else, she's just not interested. Goopy, one bolt. Goopy, I don't think Goopy is a good choice either. Herboldi, who looks like a clown, two bolts. <sighs> Herboldi is not rich, Dina. Look who's here. She's back, come on. Yes! Okay, she is promoted to the prestigious position of gas station attendant. Incredible. She needs a mechanical skill. Perhaps I should have just left the computer for her to fix. But it's fine. It's fine. She can study from a book. Can we try calling Dawn today? See if he can go on a date with us? If Dina allows us to have the phone, of course. These two are just having a very long conversation. Good for them. Because Dina does need some socialization. She's stuck in the house trying to fix her mood, almost dying because of this baby. They're really getting along. They started on zero zero. Although in my head canon they are friends. I haven't like cheated up a relationship for them. Three p.m. Wakey, wakey, Nina. She wants to gain a skill point, which is excellent because you do need to gain a mechanical skill point. Change into your everyday outfit, 
come downstairs to study mechanical and then I'll call Dom and see if he's available for a date. And if he's not, you'll have to try your luck with someone else again. We haven't had a chance to open the business and do some makeovers, but Dina is constantly tired. She's now super hungry again. And then she's going to have a baby. So when are we going to do makeovers? I don't know. Where is the baby even going to be? We don't have space for a nursery. This was allocated for a bathroom. And there we go, she gained a skill point. Slowly she's getting her aspiration meter up to some normal state. She wants to become Hall of Famer. She actually does want the athletic career, which I was considering for her. It makes sense, it makes sense. She's such an active sim. Buy a robot station. Who are you? You can't want things like that. These wants are so ridiculous. Also, the want for the date is gone now, but that is not going to stop me from asking Don on a date again. Let's try. Don Lothario. He is available. Okay. Do you want to go out, Dom? Uh, to a community lot. Sounds great. Alone? We're not bringing a third person. Come on. And don't be furious. It's fine. When you earn the money back again, you'll manage to get back the hot tub. I know that meant a lot for you. All right, we're here. Hmm, it looks lovely in the daytime, even though it's pretty empty. This is prime for a diner. This is one of the things I'm considering doing with this lot for sure. Making it into a little restaurant, at least part of it. We can have a clothing store and we can have a restaurant with this nice balcony area here and these tables outside. There he is, Don Lothario. Now that Michelle is a teenager, who cares? I don't know, y'all. Okay, we're gonna start with a charm. Oh, she's so shy. I forgot that she's shy. She's very cute. Is she actually shorter than him? Or she is shorter than him a little bit. I do have a height mod, which randomizes the height of Sims. And she, I guess she turned out to be slightly shorter than him. Oh, they had a bad conversation. They both hated that. It's gonna be fine. Okay, tickle, play, just the generic things. Let's tickle him. What does he want? Okay. He wants to meet other sims. You nasty man. What I want to know is, will Dawn share with her that he's the one who got her sister pregnant? Or does he just not care? <gasps> Look who's here! Ah. Okay, Nina, watch your pockets. You can't afford this guy. Classic dance. Do we even have music around here? We have music inside. Let's go inside. Dance classic. Let's go. He wanted that as well. And now he wants to make out with her. Okay, their wants are basically synced. How romantic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go again in front of these poor kids. I'm sorry you have to witness this. Let's sit down on the couch and make out. That's gonna be even more awkward for the kids working here. What are you doing, you fool? <laughs> Look at this idiot! Stop! You perpetual child, you can't do that. Nina can do so much better than this. Girl, get your stuff together. You can get a man that actually has money and isn't a bum. Like, Dawn is hot, but is this worth it? I don't think it's worth it. I'm glad you're having a phenomenal time. These kids here are just... <laughs> they're being unwillingly put in a situation where they have to witness that. Imagine you're at work and this happens. They're of course going to have a successful relationship, but I think Nina is just... Mm, she's bored. She's like, I've been through it all with Dawn. I've seen it all. I've been with this guy for a while. It's all fun and games, but I am bored of him. He's a child. He's a child because she's like... She is a romance sim, but she is serious. She doesn't want to date a loser. And Don, I'm sorry, but he's... he's a little bit of a loser. The unsavory charlatan is walking in. Is he... oh no, he's trying to scam the child. Nina, you just witnessed this and you're not gonna say anything? Oh, look at that. 
meet someone new. She wants to meet someone new. Um, can you actually, can we even afford clothes? Like, can we try to afford some clothes for Dina? Hmm. I don't even know what has a pregnancy morph, though. I have so many things in here. Okay, I'm gonna buy one dress for Dina, and let's hope that this thing actually fits pregnant sims. Otherwise, she can just wear it, but it's fine. Let's try on some gym clothes for Nina. Because she would like a nice gym outfit. Hmm. Right, let's try that on and see if Dawn would like to join us in the fitting room. Hello, Dawn. Would you like to step in? <laughs> These kids. Well, she's happy about it, but the other kid is not amused. Are you enjoying this? You must be. She likes the outfit as well. She probably liked other things too. I like this outfit on her. It's cute. For a second I thought he's gonna go in again. Get out of here, Dawn. Get out of there. I think I had enough of you. End the date. Enough. Ooh, look at her. Woohoo with three different sims. Have you ever woohooed with anyone other than Dawn? No. Her very first woohoo was with Dawn. Girl, you can do so much better. I'm serious. This guy is still chasing me around. The date is over, Dawn. I don't want to hang out with you. Oh, look who came in. Okay. It's Axel Rawson. Our evil warlock. Stop kissing each other. Stop smooching in the grass and the flowers. Let's meet Axel. I don't know. Let's just meet him. What if she has chemistry with him? <laughs> Come on. You can't be that grouchy. It's just a generic topic. She's gonna have to go home soon. Oh, no. Oh, did she miss work? No, she's not at work today. Okay. Wait, what? I think she might have missed work. <laughs> I think she might have missed work because of the date. Oops. Wait, why are you fighting with him? What is wrong with you? Why is the exterminator walking around? Why are you fighting with this guy? Okay. I don't think she can walk home because she came on the lot with a taxi. So she's gonna have to call a taxi to go home. But I think she missed work. Which is kind of sad, but I'll try to... Stop! Oh god, this guy. Oh, she's spraying the cockroaches. He summoned cockroaches. Stop, you're gonna get sick from the spray. Get in the taxi and leave. What are you? Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Loser! Bye! Dina needs to wake up because she is starving again, as always. Come down here and get yourself something to eat, girl. She's gonna pop. She's gonna pop really soon. And I don't know what we're gonna do because we have no money. But I have to check if the clothes fit her. So we'll do that in a second. But let her eat right now. Her entire pregnancy, she's been exclusively living on a diet of snack baguettes and soup. Is this what you're craving? I don't think this fits. I don't think this fits. No, this dress doesn't fit. It doesn't fit a pregnant sim. And Nina should go to work. But, uh, oof. She's not here. And she's not gonna be here in the next six hours. So she's gonna miss work. Lovely. That's definitely going to help their very broke situation. Beep, beep. She's not here. You should leave. Is this car gonna honk here the entire time? Yes, it is. Look at her needs. This is killing me. Phone is freaking out again. Who's calling? It's all Spectre again. Okay. She's talking about the baby. It's like I'm expecting. This is so, so difficult for me. I don't know where my life is going to head. Right. Eat again. Eat your snack baguettes again. Did you, did you just fart? You filthy girl. You nasty beast. You know what? You and Don Lothario? Mm. Not gonna lie. You two are a match made in hell. 
The thing is, Dina is not getting much better. She's not anywhere near close to either of her goals, one of which is pretty big. And uh, she's not gaining any skills because she cannot do anything other than barely survive. Her aspiration is still pretty low. I mean, it's kind of normalized itself. It's not absolutely rock bottom, but it's still super low. Also, again, I need to re-roll her lifetime wand until we get the wand that actually makes sense for her. Or in 100,000 simoleons, makes sense. Nina missed work today and that doesn't impress the higher-ups too much. Be careful or it may be Nina's job next time. Okay, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. <laughs> Neither of the sisters are doing too well. That's so bad. Clean up a little bit, be a good girl, come on. And you have to go to bed again! Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go to sleep. And Nina made it back. Finally. You missed work. Well, she's she's autonomously walking to work. Okay. She's at least going to bring in some money. No, she's not bringing in anything. She literally went in for the... <gasps> what? <laughs> no, what is happening? Wait, the chaos. She went in for like five minutes at work, got promoted after missing the job, and her boss being like, you're gonna get fired next time. And now she's coming back with a promotion and she's sick. What? Who is calling? It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. Are we serious? Who is this? This better not be a prank call. Oh, of course, of course. Your energy use has just spiked. You better be careful. She's furious. She's going to make some sandwiches. This is great because she's definitely in need of some extra food. And she is at work at 9 a.m. Okay, she's not going to miss it this time. She does need a charisma skill. So that's something to work on. She doesn't really have the want for it. But I don't really exactly play want based. If I want something for my sims, I'm just going to do this. I don't care if they don't have the want for it. Ooh, she needs some rest. She's gonna have to call in sick. There's no way I'm sending her to work like this. Although she does need the money, oof. Okay, put away the food, have a meal, and then you'll call in sick to work. Hopefully they'll accept that. Call in to work, tell your boss you're sick, because no way I'm sending you to work like this. Work it. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, I think it's happening. Ah, she's giving birth. Not quite job. She can't call in sick. Oh, okay. Let's just save here because I don't want anything crazy to happen right before the birth. All right. There's a new family member on the way. Caliente. We're not taking the Lothario name. Dina is not sharing with anyone who the father of this child is. She is hiding this. This is her little secret. Oh. We're having a girl! Okay, I'm glad we're having a girl. <laughs> I love girls. It's not an alien baby. Well, for a second, I went on a tangent about how happy I am that we're having a girl, and then I was like, wait, is the baby an alien? Okay, so she has successfully hidden the fact that Dawn is the father of the baby because the baby is called something caliente. We're gonna name the baby in a second. And the baby does not have obvious alien genes from what I can see. So she is hiding her alien heritage as well, which is good for her. I mean, she's probably not too happy that she's pregnant and having a baby, but, you know, at least she's happy that she can hide two of her biggest secrets. So what are we going to name this baby? I'm thinking Sophia. Sophia Caliente. Sophie. Let's go. Okay, here's the little baby. Oh, the baby looks exactly like Dawn. <laughs> the baby looks exactly like Dawn. Hell, black hair, the green eyes. I mean, she has green eyes as well, but ooh. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, we have this baby. We cannot afford anything. We have 800 simoleons, which is thanks to, all thanks to Nina, who has actually been working hard. I mean, not too hard, but, you know, she's still coasting. Okay, I'm gonna put the crib there, and then, hmm, changing tray. 
I don't know, we'll need a changing table. Where am I going to put a changing table? We don't even have the space for this, like none of this has ever been considered. Dina Caliente never lived with the idea that she's going to have to do this. She's like, I'm gonna marry rich, and that's what I'm gonna be. I'm going to be a rich business girl, having fun. And now she's a poor mama of someone who is definitely not going to take care of the baby. Oh, Dina, I really just feel sorry for her right now. Okay, well, let's place the changing table over there. And I guess that's gonna be it for now. We're gonna need other stuff. We're gonna need other stuff once once the baby grows up into a toddler. But let's play a little bit with the little one. She's still gonna do her best. She's not gonna leave her baby. She's not like that. Mina's happy. She's like, yay, I'm an auntie! Well, first of all, let's feed the baby. At least, you know what the good thing about this is? Feed bottle to Sophia. The good thing about all of this is that finally, Dina is going to be able to work a little bit on her cosmetology skills because now her needs won't be plummeting every single moment. Oh, look! Look at that! While we were away, witnessing the birth of Sophia Caliente, the first baby born in our Let's Play, Dawn, I suppose, came by, left some flowers. Oh no, she's at work! Oh, okay. She has to go to work now, otherwise she might get fired. Nina is going to be at work until 3 p.m., so Dina is going to have some time to work. She's gonna have to leave the kid here. Hopefully the baby is going to go to sleep. What does your future hold, little child? Dina now has to work extra hard to find a rich husband, because it's not just her. It's not just her life at this point. She has to give a good life to her baby as well. And she cannot do this if they're constantly coasting on the edge of poverty. Open the business and ooh, what are these flowers? Check them out. Oh, is she not going to consider this a betrayal of Dawn? Custom price. Ah, <sighs> what price should we set? I think 69 simoleons per makeover is the perfect price. Come on. Look at this guy. I would like to do a makeover on this guy. He looks like, what is this? Wait, his bone structure is insane. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. I mean, maybe he shouldn't be changed. He looks spectacular. He looks like he's just villain potential. I don't know what kind of personality he has, but he has villain potential. I'm sorry about that popping up on the screen. She's thinking about the baby. She's getting tired. The baby needs a change of diaper. At least it's not crying too much. They're not enjoying this, please! Nobody wants to actually get a makeover by Dina. They're just looking at it and considering it like, hmm, I've seen her baldy. I don't want to walk around the neighborhood looking like that. Should I do it? Should I not? This is a 50-50 chance. I'm playing Russian roulette with my face. I don't think so. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. This is so stressful. <gasps> okay, okay, we're giving it a makeover. The coronal cap. Let's go, sir. Nina's back. She earned a little bit of money, not much. She's very tired. And I think she's gonna have to take care of the baby because her sister is busy working. Look at her pose, look at her pose. Oh no, did she, did she mess him up? He looks exactly the same. <laughs> she did earn money though. Okay, cool. She earned some money from making him look exactly the same. Um, offer makeover to Andrea. Andrea Hogan, who's often hanging around in our hood. Voila! My makeover chair. You too can look spectacular. Okay, we're almost there. Sales, basic sale, don't fall asleep. Who's this? AJ Loner! I love AJ. Do they know each other? Ooh, they do, but they don't really have chemistry. Come on, you're both fortune sims. <laughs> Nina is like, you need to take care of your child. Receive baby! No, we can't receive the baby right now! Oh my goodness. Okay. Don't leave the baby on the floor. Nina, please, put Sophia in the crib and then go to sleep. Dina's like thinking of her child, like, oh, I really need to get this in order. 
There we go. Okay, we're going to do a little makeover on Andrea. As always, I'll leave you guys here and I'll come back when I'm done with this. Okay, here's what I've done with Andrea. I've just given her some face details and a little bit of extra makeup. I'm not going to change her hair. I think her hair is fine like that. And I think that's her signature look. So we'll leave it like this. And now we can check out her current look. Okay. Girl. Do you like it? She has really tiny eyes. So I gave her a waterline. Oh, she's immediately leaving. Come on. Let us check you out. This is it. It's nothing special. I just gave her a little bit of extra shininess. You know, she has pores, she has a foundation, you know, just slightly changing her. And I think this is going to be it for today. We're going to have to close the business. Anyone who hasn't gotten the makeover and is still hanging out, I'm sorry, but y'all have to leave. Oh God, their house is filthy. Oh, their house is filthy. And Nina is way too tired. She cannot take care of the baby right now or clean up. AJ, what are you doing? What are you doing? Look at him and his emo fringe, this guy. <laughs> he looks like, he looks just so young. Oh my God, the speed. Sophia's birthday is only a day away. Yep, it sure is. No, why? Why did you take my baby out the crib just to leave it on the ground and leave, you weirdo? She's waking up. Why did you wake up to pick up the phone? She looked at her baby and was like, no, I'm not going to do anything about it. Bills, stop. Okay, play with your baby. Come on. Give your baby some attention. Right, put her in the crib now. And you are so hungry. You are so hungry. Come and get some leftovers. The phone again. Seriously, why is this household so popular? <laughs> pick up the phone who's that is nina available to talk are are you not going to talk to me your baby mama dawn oh, what a sicko <laughs> what a sicko this guy he has the freaking audacity to call the house and not even ask about his child or come over or anything let's let's put away the flowers nina's gonna put those in her room yes she is yes she is Are you happy to be walking in the filth that you are walking into? Are you enjoying stepping on this on your way to the dining table? Maybe you should clean up, Dina. Have you considered that? Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh, these girls. This household is just not having a good time. This is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. I was about to ask, Nina, are you well? But I don't think she is. She's still sick. Oh gosh, the sound from the other room. I don't know if we'll have the time, but I'll try to work on the skills. Please wake up. Finish your sandwich. Nina's healthy again. That's phenomenal. She needs a good sleep, a shower, and a screaming baby in the other room. Oh, look who's here. Look who's here to take care of their child. Great job. I'm really happy that you finally considered actually doing that. Look around this room. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at the filth. Yes, immediately she's going to automatically start cleaning. Good for her. She is a smart girly. Change the diaper, this baby stinks. Actually, Dina, you stink as well. Oh, she hated that. Oh no, she's going to go in an aspiration failure. She hated that. She hated the fact that she had to change the diaper. What's up? You're upset? I'm sure you're upset. What are you doing? Feeding the baby? We did feed the baby like an hour ago. And it's dirty. Is that the diaper again? No. Did you just feed the baby a spoiled... What are you doing, lady? Are you trying to mortificate the child? No. Fed it a spoiled bottle of milk. Put the baby in the crib and stay away from it, please. I, I was just complimenting you and the fact that you seem to have your life together. But I may have been mistaken. This is, this is a queen. She's unbothered. She's unbothered by everything that's going on in the other room. She does need to find herself a new boyfriend though, because Dawn is a bum. Can you meet someone? Chat with... well, it's just girlies. 
no, you are not hiring Dawn as an employee. I don't know how to stress this enough. Come downstairs and study mechanical. Is that what you need for your job? No, you need charisma. You need charisma. Okay, practice speech. I know you don't like that. I know you're a shy sim. You're gonna hate this, but it's for your own good. All right? Just a little bit. See, you gained the charisma skill. It wasn't that difficult. It was so easy. That's so great. Right? You can actually get promoted now. Stop thinking about kissing Dawn. You need to think about kissing other men because Dawn is not the man for you. I don't think so. I don't think so. After everything he's done with your sister, I don't think Dawn is the man for you. I don't think Nina is upset about the fact that Dawn was messing around with her sister, but I definitely think she would be upset that he's not showing up to take care of the kid. Like, an absent father? That's not sexy. More bills. More bills. More bills. Bills always piling up. Hey, at least on the bright side of things, uh, Jennifer Burb and Mortimer Goth have stopped kicking over my trash can 50,000 times a night. Oh, the baby is crying. Oh, the baby is crying. Oh, this outfit. This is so not Nina Caliente. Ugh. Where is the prestige? Where is the prestige? Where is the gorgeousness? This apron? No. She needs a better job. This is just not for her. This is just a means to an end. She didn't even look happy going to work. <sighs> At least she's working hard. Her sister? I don't know about her sister. Get the baby. The baby is screaming and crying and hollering. You need to take care of your child. Cuddle, play, and feed it. The baby is probably hungry. Feed bottle to Sophia. I really want to see how Sophia is going to look when she grows up into a toddler, which should happen within the next day or two. We'll see if she really looks like Dawn or Dina more. Yoohoo! Look who's back from work and has another promotion! Nina, you're working so hard! I'm so proud of you, girl! Wow. Wow, she really is climbing the ladder of the um, slacker career. <laughs> it's impressive. But yeah, she got like, how many? Three promotions in this play session? And she didn't get demoted or fired? Now, to be fair, she hasn't received a single chance card, so we haven't had the chance to completely flop and get her fired. But wow, this is this is working out for her. Look, they have over 1k. That's impressive. That's impressive. Oh, there we go. Quiet, quiet. You're gonna wake up your mom. She's going to feed the baby. Okay. What a good auntie. What a good auntie. She is. She is like responsible. Kinda. When she's not feeding the child spoiled milk, she is. Let's wake up Dina. She needs to get herself cleaned up and ready. Um, maybe she'll get another client. Ooh, look, she wants to get a job. <laughs> what a want. What a want. So you finally want to get a job. So you finally realize, yes, I actually need to work to earn money. She's still like, it's so difficult to get her mood in order. The entire time I'm just trying to balance out her existence. She's just having such a bad time. We're open for business. Let's see if we'll get some paying customers today <laughs> instead of people just hanging out and contemplating whether or not she, they should get a makeover from the myth, the legend, Dina Caliente. Oh, look, it's the girl. It's the girl from the grocery store. Erin Beaker and Consort Cap. Consort Cap <laughs> coming all the way to Pleasant View to get a makeover. Be complained at? Why? Oh, because of the dirty stuff? I'm sorry, okay. Oh, people are complaining about the, about the filth. Yikes. Like, immediately all they do is walk in and complain about the filth. What? You're complaining? Shut up! Tosha, go! Shut up! Katika Lokarupo? Shut up! Okay. Can we try doing some basic sales? Ooh, ooh that, that wasn't good. No, then why are you here? Ugh, Dina has figured out how to use offer at to lower the price. Stop complaining! 
These people are fighting here next to my baby that was crying just a second ago. Nina needs to wake up and help. She needs to wake up and help around. Okay, wake up, put some clothes on because there are people from the outside world in your house. And uh, grab the baby, take care of it. What are you doing? Just abandon a stuff face. See what I said like, oh, what is going on? With too many things are going on at once. We have Michael Bachelor. Oh, he broke the TV. Why is the TV broken? She's stuffing her face. People are complaining. Piggy is outside. Hi, Piggy. You need to kick out all the customers. Come on, close the business. Not a single paying customer today. Not the ghost dressing up in outside clothes. <laughs> Stop, everyone must leave. I completely forgot we have a ghost on the lot. Okay, get some leftovers. You need to eat. What are you doing with the baby? Change the diaper. Change the diaper of the baby. The house is incredibly filthy. We didn't get a single paying customer. We did get a lot of complaining though. So that's amazing. And we have a ghost. And Piggy is out here. No, you're not coming in. I think Dina, yeah, I think she's going to do it. I think she's going to age up the baby. Come on, come on. Our session is almost over, so we need to see how the baby is going to look like as a toddler. So you're not gonna age up the baby. Okay, put her down. Filthy plates from food, bottles of milk lying around, and now we have another one as well. Of course we do. Newspapers. This is, this is just a mess. This is a mess. Dina, you want to live in class? This is not how you live in class. Piggy, what are you doing? Did you do this? Oh, this dog. This dog. It must be Piggy. There's no way it was anything else. Our TV is broken now. Can we repair it? I mean, you do have a mechanical skill. You should try to repair it. Hopefully she won't get... Oh, look, it's snowing! Wow. I guess it's really cold in Pleasant View because it started snowing. Filthy, filthy Piggy. Piggy is really living up to her name, as I've said before. Just this dog. Are you done? Are you done? Spent the night barking, digging holes, rolling in filth, and now you're leaving? You just look so happy. She looks so accomplished. This is a dog that's on a mission and she knows what she wants. See, she just gained a culinary skill, so probably she's not gonna set the house on fire. I hope. I don't think they have a fire alarm, because I like to live dangerously. Mm-mm-mm, good old mac and cheese. Comfort food. She does need some comfort. <laughs> Yay! There's little Sophia! Sophia just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Let's look at her. Oh, she has textured hair. She got braids. Okay. And she has black eyebrows but brown hair. That's interesting. Hmm. She's looking pretty cute. Just a very generic looking baby so far. <laughs> we don't have any crazy genetics happening. Um, mommy needs to sleep though, Sophia. Ooh, Sophia needs to be potty trained. Oof, 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 oof. What does she want? She wants to interact with her mom. She wants toys and she wants to learn how to walk. Well, I'm gonna get her some toys though. And we're definitely going to need a potty chair. So where do we even put that? We don't really have much space in this house. Let's give her this teddy bear. And, uh, hmm, what else, what else? This is a loud toy. Maybe let's give her this one. See, she's happy about that. Now, she's going to poop in her diaper soon because <laughs> there's nobody to take her to potty train because everyone is tired. Oh, look at that. I do have a mod that allows toddlers to use stairs because it's just so annoying to me and this makes no sense, but at least she can go around and interact with things around the house. Oh, another nature sim. <laughs> well, that was very easy. Uh, 
Okay, she's now complaining that she stinks. Ugh, I know, I know. Come upstairs. You'll wake up mommy, and she's going to clean you up. Although, I'm pretty sure that she's not excited about that. Dina, wake up. Your child needs you. Yes, you're complaining, but your kid needs you. Alright? Bait Sophia. And Nina needs to go to work, but she's so tired and she does not have a single vacation day, so she cannot skip work. Oof. I don't think she's going to do well at work today, but let's wake her up. Come on, girl. I know, I know. I know you're tired. You want to eat, you want to go to the toilet, you want to have some fun. Look at her, the breadwinner of the family. <laughs> what is her current position? Record store clerk. Fun times. But you know you're not doing perfectly well when you're still being picked up for work by the cheapest carpool. Right, what does Miss Dina want? She wants to hire a nanny. Of course you do. Well, can you afford a nanny? I was about to say come and watch some TV, but her fun is... <laughs> but the TV is still broken. Okay, I think we are going to have to hire a repairman. Let's hire a repairman. You cannot do this on your own. What about the kid? The kid needs to sleep, but otherwise she's in a good mood. Um, she wants to learn all sorts of skills, but I don't know if that's going to happen for her. Because both her auntie and her mommy are incredibly busy trying to just make ends meet. Alright, our repairman is here. Mr. Lee Lewis. Who is hopefully going to fix our TV so that we can actually, you know, watch movies, have something to do when our guests arrive. Please don't get electrocuted, dude. Oh, not the phone again. Dina, come and answer the phone. And maybe by the time you're down here, you'll be able to watch TV too. He's done. And it's consort cap. Shut up. But why is he... Wait, I hung up on this guy. But he called Dina. And he's a rich old man. And I don't think he has a wife. Hmm. Hmm. Is he an option? Is she into him? No. <laughs> she actually doesn't like him at all. She likes her oldie the clown. Stop. You can't have that. Like for a lady that wants to marry a rich sim and have a luxurious, lavish life. Oh, wait. Nina's boss puts her in charge of choosing a house band for the store. Da 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 da. The first two bands to audition are the Naughty Llamas and the Ridiculated Splines. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is his name? Both bands are good enough, so Nina decides to pick from the two and take the rest of the afternoon to alphabetize the store's vinyl collection by drummer slash names. What a mouthful, this sentence. Um, we're going with the Naughty Llamas. No! Who knew the date? used real llamas on stage. Nina is forced to pay the structural damage to the store. No, they lost so much money. They basically lost everything that she earned and they're back to 300 simoleons. <laughs> Why? And I just called the repairman because I'm like, oh, they have over 1k. They can afford it. How's the baby doing? Learning new skills? By the way, what is your personality like? Very, very sloppy. Like mommy and daddy, incredibly sloppy. But also... Outgoing, active, playful? Wow. All right. Put Sophia in her crib. And then you can get some sleep too. Oh my god, Dina. Oh god, Dina. Come on. Sweet dreams. Oh, look who's back. And she brought a friend. Ooh, she brought a friend. Who is this? Fritz Cornway. Ah, <sighs> Fritz Cornway doesn't really sound like the guy for Nino Caliente, but let's let's have a chat with him. Ew, he hates that. But she does have two bolts with him. Ew, like okay, okay, that's not a good conversation topic. Let's try complimenting him. She wants to kiss him already. I mean, we could try. Let's let's hit him. Oh. Networking? Okay. Okay, what is he saying? You are simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know, Nina. Your reputation is on its way up. Well, she does need that because her reputation was pretty bad. There she goes. She just discovered that she likes sports. Okay, let them play around a little bit. What is Dina doing? I think she's waking up. 
Yeah, because of the baby. The baby was screaming. And it's almost time to potty train your child, so... Potty train Sophia, come on, get off the computer. You can't just do this. Potty train the child. And at the same time, I'm going to try... Hmm. Oh, they're losing money on this as well. Amazing. Let's try flirting with this guy. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted that. I don't know if he wanted to flirt in general or if he wanted to flirt with Nina, but he wanted that. He enjoyed it. Okay, let's try something more risky. Suggestion, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's working out. How about sweet talk? Okay, this is working out. Wait a minute. This guy is into it. Can can we risk it? <gasps> yes, okay. Okay, we have we have a new romantic prospect. Fritz Cornway. <laughs> Conway. Why am I saying corn? <laughs> it just sounds so goofy. I should probably rename it. Fritz Conway. She's like, eh, why are you making me do this? Come on, girl. I know you want this. Look who's here. Look who's here. I was just about to say that you're not gonna get a lot out of life if you only rely on Mr. Donaldario. Oh, see, they're getting along. Piggy Piggy. Our good friend Piggy is here. Let's kiss him. He's just hanging out. And she does want another date, so... Is she at work? No. Let's ask him on a date. Do you want to go on a date, dude? He's like, yeah, sure. Okay, they're on a date right now, but the date is going to stay on the lot because she's about to pass out. And I don't want that for her. Where is this guy going? See, Fritz, I used to have a hot dog on the roof, but uh, not anymore. Make out. Come over here. Come over here. Don't stand in the, in the middle of the hallway. Let's have a chat. She wants to just have a chat with him. I guess she wants to, like, get to know him. Ooh, we can hit him with the smooth talk. She's gossiping about Lilith Pleasant. What did Lilith do? She just brought this guy from work. And immediately she's like, mm, 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 hitting it up with him. She wants to kiss him and all that. What does he want? He's also a romance aspiration and he's obsessed with her. He wants to hug her, kiss her, make out for her. Okay. Can we make out? Not yet. Soon though, soon. Soon, Fitz, don't worry. What? What is he complaining about? Why are you screaming about the bed? Be complained at? I don't get it. Why is he angry about my bed? Why is the baby... What is happening? Stop. Well, that was nice. I had a good time. Maybe we should go out again. Yeah, we should, but actually go out and not scream in my room and as the baby's watching us. Dina, Dina, really? She just went to sleep and left her baby splash in the puddle like that. You know what? You know what? I think, I think that's gonna be it. I think this is going to be it for the Caliente household because the seasons are going to roll over in just a couple of sim hours and I'm going to leave them as they both sleep, tired, Broke, and now with a baby. This guy just turned down the baby. The baby is like, can you please take care of me? And he's like, no. I don't care. Cry on, child. <laughs> what, what a weirdo. You are a weirdo. You know that? Well, yes, I'm going to end it here, guys. I hope you had fun watching this video. It, was, it wasn't it was as buggy as last time, but it was definitely just as chaotic. And the two sisters are just as broke. And now they have a third sim in the family. Little baby Sophia. What is going to happen to her future? We don't know. Is she going to get to know her dad? Is he even going to come to visit her at the house sometime? I don't know. He hasn't really... He hasn't really showed up at all. He has stopped showing up entirely ever since she was born. We'll see about that, but I'll see you next time with the... Oh! <laughs> Way to interrupt my ending. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you next time, guys, with our next Sims 2 Let's Play video, in which we'll hopefully play with a household that has their stuff together a little bit more than the Calientes. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more Sims 2 videos, and I'll see you soon. Bye!